Hello and welcome to Opinions and Beer. Today is going to be a little different, uh, definitely a different type of episode. And because of that, I'm going to jump right into it. Today's beer of the day is Hazel's Nuts. Hazel's Nuts by Odd Side Brewing Company. It is an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with coffee and natural hazelnut flavors. Now, Hazel Nuts has a picture of a woman with a beard. It's a bearded lady. So, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of um, play on words right there. This bad boy, this bad boy is 12.1% in alcohol by volume. It is like I said, uh, brewed and bottled by Oddside Ales in Grand Haven, Michigan. 12, I did not know that this bad boy was 12.1%. I thought it was going to be like a 7. <laughs> no wonder it was. Man, uh, thank you, uh, Raymond, for donating this beer to Opinions and Beer. I was saving this for a, uh, I was saving it for a one, a solo episode. And today is, um, it's a funny beer. Hazel's Nuts is a funny beer. And today, um, I want to recognize some thing funny, not funny. Uh, someone funny. I want to recognize someone funny. And uh, but first, let's review Hazel's nuts. Let's crack this bad boy open. Nice little. Ooh, the bourbon just the bourbon notes sift through the bottle into my nostrils, and I can smell it. Okay, I'm gonna pour this beer. Ooh, yeah. I'm then going to take a picture of this beer. Nice little picture there. Now it's time to... Ooh, it smells so bourbony. So bourbony. I hope I get the hazelness flavoring. The hazelnut flavoring. I would literally like to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this beer. That is one smooth. <laughs> That's a pretty smooth 12% beer. That's 12%. I'm sure I've mentioned this many times before. There's like we had like a 9% or an 8% that was super boozy. Might have been like Storm Crusher or something, but this is a 12% Imperial Stout. Does not I can take the hazel the hazelnut comes through. This it's, it almost tastes like a hazelnut, like a hazelnut black latte. Like if they frothed, like if you had the ability to froth, um, it has like it has like some kind of weird like maybe it's like chocolate notes, chocolatey notes. I mean, it's just hazelnut. That's a strong hazel. That's a really good. This tastes like hazelnut coffee. Tastes like hazelnut black coffee because it's not. Um, it's sweet, but not like it's beer sweet. Wow. That's a wow. Hazel's nuts. The imperial side isn't really, it's not overbearing like some imperial beers. I mean, jeez. It may not be a straight up 10, but it's a straight up 9 at least. I wish I had more of these. I, I was given, I was gifted a bottle. I was gifted a bottle of this. And uh, if I had more... I could probably give a better rating if I drank like a bunch of these, but that's really good. That's that's a solid nine point five. It's an almost ten. There's something about it that's not making it a complete ten with me. Don't know what it is. Something. 
something. I cannot put my hand. I cannot put my finger on it. But basically, if it was, if it were to come down to this beer and one of the ten rated beers, I would buy the ten. Like, I think what's stopping me is that there's a beer out there, a few beers out there that I might grab before this one again. Is the only thing that stops from being a ten. But this is the best hazelnut beer I've ever had. This this is hands down the best hazelnut beer I've ever had. I think it's the first one on the show, but in the world ever had best hazelnut beer. Oh, that's that's super good, super good. <sighs> Anyways, um, hazelnuts. Funny beer. Um. So, not to kick things off in a weird start, but um, this is our first epi- This is our first episode in February. Uh, the year twenty twenty has kicked off rather rocky, to say the least. Bunch of a uh, bunch of medical scares and whatnot. Uh in the personal life and then uh, a few days ago a friend of ours passed away named uh, he's comedian Justin Thompson uh, it was it was rather sudden I feel like a lot of people it was it was rather sudden he was 30 uh, four years old and I mean it really just it really came out of nowhere it was complete shock it's like we were just talking about the Royal Rumble or, you know, he was just posting about how he was at the Royal Rumble. You know, he was there. Like, we were over here commenting on it and he was at the Royal Rumble and he had, like, and he was just, he was just active. You know, he was just doing stuff. He, was, he wasn't sick that we know of. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't showing signs of sickness. So it's just, it's just one of those things where it's just, and I thought about doing like a, like a full group episode really to just discuss, uh, how the value of life and, and how, how sudden and unexpected life can really be taken from you. Uh, to, Today was his uh, was his funeral. Yesterday was the wake. I didn't I didn't go to either. I uh, it's just we. Uh, death is weird. Death is weird for me, and it's I I I feel awkward around death. I feel awkward uh, walking into any death situation where death is around. It's just. Uh, it's just weird. It's not really just weird for me. I just don't like. I don't like looking at people that are mourning. That I mean, that's. It's just. It's so. Death is just so weird, especially with young. This is the second. This 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 is probably the. Uh, well, this is the third death of like a close friend. Uh. I didn't even think about like the I, this. This is probably the second death that I've like you know thought about, uh, just because how random it was, how random. The, no signs of sickness. At least one of the deaths were they were sick. They were a sick. And they had they had some sick. They had some um, health issues that were uh, well known. Anyways. So in uh in honor of Justin Thompson and his memory, I just wanted to kind of chat about him and how I met him. Uh, I actually I I haven't really met I have, that's that's another thing I haven't really known Justin for too long. I met him back in I think it was 2016. Uh, maybe 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 late 2015, but we we really started talking around 2016, uh, late 2016. In fact, probably November of 2016 is when we first started speaking. Um, 
casually. Uh, I was introduced to him through my wife, my wifey, and <laughs> because she's seen that me and Justin had very similar personnel or interests. We had very similar interests when it came to uh, entertainment and stuff like that, whether it comes to movie making or uh, wrestling. You know, we shared a lot of common interests, and yet we had never run in the same circle. Which is crazy. Justin's ran in circles that were close to me and vice versa, I guess, but we had just never met yet. And, uh, so here was the time to meet. Um, I think he, he, uh, we, we decided to meet at fuzzies. I wasn't supposed to bring my family. I don't think I brought my family. And so that was, <laughs> he was trying to talk to me about, uh, working together in business and, and I just brought the whole family along, and uh, uh, I ain't never met him before. And you know, Lauren was introducing me, so I was like, oh, "Come on, just go with me," because I I feel weird about meeting new people in general. And then, uh, flash forward a couple of weeks, I meet him again at uh, at Sorrentino's, and we're just sort of drinking coffee and we're kind of chatting about some scripts. He's telling me about some scripts he's working on. I just tell him I'm working on a, um, I believe that's when I was working on trying to do a script called Slater's Immortal. It was like a chess, a chess movie. Uh, I wish I could still do I just couldn't. It was hard for me to figure out where to go with that. But uh, after those two meetings, we didn't really we didn't really chat as much. I think like he, he commented on some stuff. I mean, we talked about wrestling on some comments and then we did some of these, uh, polls. We were chatting about polling for like these, uh, best movie in the nineties and stuff like that. So we started talking a lot there in the best movie of the nineties. And then on November 3rd, 2016, uh, he was the first person that I contacted about how I wanted to shoot a zombie flick. And, and I had all these ideas for the zombie movie. I, I, uh, I, I didn't, well, I didn't have too many. I, I had, I had an idea for the zombie movie. Okay. And I ended up bringing a few weeks later, because I, I told him I we're going to shoot in January, but a few, but literally I think it was like Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, it was like Black Friday or the day after Black Friday. Uh, me and Ed Ray, we traveled however far. We traveled uh, <laughs> 900 miles or whatever, not whatever, however many miles it was, to uh, Guadalupe Peak. We hiked Guadalupe Peak. We filmed this big, uh, we filmed some stuff up there um, with Ed Ray, uh, Worshipping Satan. And that's kind of where... It was the very first shot that was planned for this upcoming movie. And, uh, and it, I, and when we got back, it came around January. I started writing around this scene. Cause that's kind of, that's kind of how I work. I do one scene and then I kind of write in a way that connects to that scene. And, I didn't even think Justin would do it. I was just like holding out that he may do it. And so I instantly wrote, instantly, I, I wrote in the character uh, Neil. And uh, Neil was solely based on my perception of who, like, <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> of Justin at the time. Um, Justin uh, creatively was able to add his own flair to the character. And his own personality, and we really uh, all, a lot of these characters were written based off the people that embodied the characters. I wanted just, just to help with the uh, the acting side of things. Uh, at the time, which is crazy, we were I, I was doing that zombie stuff, and he was doing the uh, the what if I wrote Walking Dead and stuff like that. He did a oh what if Walking Dead did it this way? Walking Dead should you know. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> they were pretty funny. He did, re he, he did really good on those videos. And anyways, we ended up meeting up. We, we were like just chatting, chatting about these movie. We start meeting up 
Uh, he tells me about his friend that's going to move down soon. And maybe uh, once he moves down, because he was at a, a college for filmmaking, that maybe we could all work on a movie together uh, at some point. Uh, we 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 did a bunch of really fun scenes. He 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 introduced me to the comedy scene at the hookah bar. And that's where we filmed. We actually filmed a scene there. Is why he really introduced me to a lot of uh, some stuff as far as the comedy scene, like who's in comedy, and uh, especially for the filming stuff. And I say who's in comedy. The hookah bar. The hookah bar scene. He introduced me to the hookah bar scene, which was really cool. It was really fun. It was like, I mean, I knew Justin for this this whole year. So we're like twenty. What was that? Is that 2016? I mess. So 2017. All for me and Just, I was friends with Justin throughout 2017. 2017 was me. Was a Justin. Was a Justin friendship. Is what I'm gonna say. Uh. We 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 worked really hard in that movie. We. Uh, we were hit by a hurricane, and it kind of um. Uh, heard a lot of the production as far as uh, stuff we had and things like that. But, uh, you know, Justin really believed in it. And I I felt like I let Justin down uh, with the movie. Because I was obviously talking it up. And I felt like, we, you know, a lot of that beginning stuff was really good. Everything we did in, that be- in those first few months were solid. We were doing such huge, huge things that we've never that I have never that I had never done before in previous projects. We met up at Book Nook in uh, Justin Thompson. We did this fun stuff with the Halo Sword. He kills uh, he kills the cl- uh, clown zombie. Like just everything that was happening was just great. Uh, and then and then obviously. Hurricane Harvey happened, and and then some slacking happened on my, on our end, and uh, I I really felt like I disappointed everybody, especially Justin, mainly because Justin he had put his uh, name out there for a um a, a guy in England who reviewed movies and stuff. He's gonna review the movie, and you know he talked it up. We were all talking it up, and I just. I just really felt like I disappointed him in the grand scheme of things. And uh, I'll probably just never. Uh... I've always, I always wanted to make it up to him. And I just, it kind of sucks because I just, I now know I'll just never be able to make up, make that up to him. And I've, and I, I tried pitching to him a bunch of stuff just to try to work with him again, just to make up for the faults that I, that had accumulated during that project. And, uh, and I just, I'll just never be able to, I'll just never be able to make that up. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. This is weird talking about this, but I feel like it's good to just talk about the memories that I had of them. Um, and just the times we had, uh, all this built up. We, we finished the movie, I want to say in the summer, we released it soon after, uh, he did come over, we, we went and seen, uh, Last Jedi together, Star Wars Last Jedi, he came over directly after watching the movie, and we all came over and debated on the NFC, which was, I was trying to, uh, bring that back, I had did that previously in in the past, I was trying to bring back, uh, this NFC stuff, uh, we really, um, we we really started losing touch, and I and like I said, it was a lot of that has to do with the um, I I felt like I was uh, that I screwed up, and I felt like he thought I screwed up, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and so I was always just hoping we'd do some more stuff. He ended up the whole reason why I really wanted to bring this up on the podcast because he actually started a podcast. You know, I had I had been toying with the idea. I was seeing it everywhere. I was seeing podcasts starting to grow and whatnot. But then uh, I seen that he 
that Justin Thompson started the Bedtime Stories podcast. And he was doing his podcast on his schedule. His schedule dates were, I believe, was it was it Sunday, Monday? No, no, no. It was Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. His schedule was Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so when, and literally, him's doing his podcast actually sparked the my interest in actually going forward and doing the podcast myself because I was like, what, what are you using? You know, how are you doing your podcast? And he told me about Podbean and it's free and blah, blah, blah. And so he, without Justin Thompson, uh, I would have never, I probably would have never gotten the inspiration to start the Opinions and Beer podcast. Uh, and that's really the truth because that's why, because he was doing it those three days. And so when I started, uh, soon after, right, right around, you probably noticed that in, in the beginning of our show, we had a we had three episodes a week because we were doing it the opposite days. We were doing Sunday, 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 Tuesday, Thursday. That way, it'd be opinions of beer, you know, and uh, you know, Adam Justin, Adam Justin, Adam Justin. That way, I don't fall in his dates, and then it would be a week of these podcasts that you could go back and forth or whatever. Was the idea. And, uh, I mean, uh, this is where we are now. I mean, this is where we are. And I am, I was lucky to know him. I was happy to know him. I know his, uh, he was working on a, um, he was working on a project with some of his friends. Uh, and hopefully, I hope they get to finish it because they, they didn't get to finish it. I know, uh, I know his friend said uh, he'd finish the project, and he's probably going to need help, uh, he said. He said he's going to need some help with finishing it. It's just it's just really sad. I mean, it's just it's, it's a really sad thing. He was just way too young. He had so much stuff going on. Like I said, he was a comedian, traveling the world. He had a tour coming with a, with a, with a rather popular comedian, and... I just feel like a lot. He's one of those. He's one of those guys. He's one of those people on this earth that just a lot of people are gonna miss. And he he had so many plans with so many people. And my my heart goes out to all of them. And that's. Uh, and he's just a really good guy. And that's not an opinion. That's facts. Because today's episode, all we had were facts, memories of Justin Thompson, and beer. <laughs>